guys welcome back to my channel so today is a little uh impromptu get ready with me i guess but not really because i've already done like all my face makeup but i was like you know what um i am off today it's a tuesday today is my oldest daughter's birthday so she's turning 21 so i took the day off one initially because she used to watch the kids or whatever and I was like I'm not gonna have her watching the kids but now they're in daycare and in school and you know whatever else and I was like oh I got the day off so her and I can go out spend the day together um yeah and have some fun and my friend bought me a shirt and it says I gave birth 21 years ago where's my drink because my best friend is a big goober well my one best friend I have two best friends so my one best friend in um Maryland or whatever she sent this to me and I was like you're an absolute goober and I love it and I'm gonna wear it today so I thought I would quickly hop on here and do some eye makeup just I'm not featuring any specific palette I just wanted to do my eye makeup for the day and I'm only gonna do one eye and then I've got to get out of here because I gotta take the dog to the vet really quick so she can get her uh, steroid injection and then I can get on with my day. So anyway, if you want to see what I do to get ready for going out with my daughter for her birthday. I mean, it is daytime. It is nine o'clock in the morning, so we're not going to get too crazy. Um, but if you want to see what I end up doing, some simple going out makeup, then just keep watching. This feels so odd to me. So I had like such a to do. I was like, what palette do I want to use? I was like, the world is at my fingertips. <laughs> Like, I had so many palettes and then it was like such a debate of what palette do I want to use? What color do I want to use? It's not like I had just a specific palette. So you know when I'm forced to have like a specific palette and I'm like, okay, I need to do an eye look based off of what's in this palette. I didn't have that today. So I felt a little like out there. So just to show you, I went through some things. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pull out something older and I pulled out the Huda, Huda Booty the empowered palette and I was like oh I kind of want to go in with these colors here but this one is like a cream shadow and I just I don't know I'm just not a fan of that I guess I don't know maybe maybe it's ignorance because I'm like don't really know not necessarily how to use it but kind of and I was like mm, I don't really want to botch this and then I was like let me go into some older makeup so I was thinking like BH Cosmetics but then I pulled out um my revolution makeup revolution revolution beauty i don't know they've got multiple names this is the forever this is from the forever flawless line the cosmic trip so i haven't had a chance to use it but i was kind of thinking i wanted to go down here into these colors and i was like "Ooh, this is exciting i love those palettes i have a lot of them um i ended up getting them when they were on sale and then i was like you know what I love this palette so and I was like there's so many options in here I really this color stood out to me and then I was like oh I can go in with this and kind of come around here into that or I could use this oh I'm not even in frame or I could use this color and this one because that's a pinky shift so that's kind of how like things went down <laughs> it was it was a little little like ah for a second so I think I'm gonna start with the revolution palette and i'm just gonna go in with this color trip just a nice neutral shade this is so cute it's got these little like mushrooms imprinted in here um i'm not really sure what we're gonna get into today uh i figured i'd take <sighs> my husband's a ding dong so honey i love you i know you're watching this um but at the last vet appointment because he's not used to dealing with it because again I've been doing all these things you know but now that I'm back to working all this time he's having to like help with appointments and things like that so anyway he took the dog we have a dog that has Addison's disease one of the pugs um we had taken her uh we have to take her every five weeks to the vet to get a steroid shot and when you go to that appointment you have to then schedule the next five week appointment yeah, well, he did not. And I was like, hey, when's, you know, Lily's next appointment? And he was like, oh, I'll take care of it. And I was like, you didn't schedule one. <laughs> so, so I called and she needed to get in this week. And I'm like, well, I'm off. So, you know, I just couldn't be like, oh, no, it was your screw up. Like, you go ahead, take off of work, go deal with it. You know what I mean? So, 
I was like, I'm off, we'll go ahead and take. And the only appointment time they had was like 10.30 and the vet is 45 minutes away. It's a pain. It really is. We need to find a local vet, but we're kind of locked into this damn Banfield. Um, you know, like the PetSmart Banfield bullshit where we have like the pet insurance, whatever, because she goes so frequently. So we're kind of locked into that. That's why we have to keep going there. Anyway, it's a whole to do. So it's the they only have two, like, the only locations are all 45 minutes away from where we are in the country. So that is that. I really want to go in with this gamer. I don't know why I'm thinking I want to do like this plummy purplish situation today. But that's what I'm going for. So I just did that. That other color went on really nice. So I'm going to take this on a fluffy tapered brush and I'm going to put it out here. Hold on, I think I want something a little smaller and a little more dense. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M506 brush. Pick up that same plummy color. Um, so anyway, they're all like 45 minutes away, so it is what it is. So I told her, hey, you could ride with me. We'll go to Starbucks, get a nice fall drink, hang out. Do some chit chatting, listen to some music, whatever. You know, it is a pain that it's a 45 minute drive each way. And then I told her we could go shopping. So, that is what her and I shall do today. And then I figured, you know, if we go to lunch, since she's now 21, I will have her sit at the bar with me. And we can have a little fruity drink. and hang out be good time and I have not gone and like walked around the mall without the little ones in such a long time so I think I'm looking forward to that it's like I just get to go as an adult walk around and kind of like do my thing peruse look at what I want to look look at you know what I mean uh, I, obviously along the lines with what she wants to you know do or where she wants to go but you get my point I'm gonna soften this a bit do that and then ooh, I really need to wash my brushes that should be no surprise to you guys so I really like that and then I think what I want to do is I want to go in to this color here distortion out of the Beauty Bay Dark Fantasy palette. I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe M124 brush. I'm kind of excited. I want to go to I think they have a pottery barn at the mall we're gonna go to. And they have this chair that I've always wanted. And I'm just gonna pop in and sit in this chair. <laughs> just, to, just to be like, oh, you're still here, you exist. Maybe though, maybe it's been so long that I'm gonna be like, oh, I really don't like you chair as much as like I thought I did 10 years ago. You know, this has been like an ongoing affair with this chair. Because it's just ridiculously expensive. And I've never been in a position to spend like $2,000 on a chair or 1600 or whatever just on one piece of furniture. I've never been in that situation. I'm not sure I ever will be. So I just like to go in there and sit in this chair. And be like, ah. But maybe this time, maybe. They might not even have it to be honest with you, but... Maybe this time when I go in, I'm just going to be like, I don't like you. Maybe our love affair will be over. So I'm going to go in with hack. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I lie. I'm going to go in with this Moira um, Cream Shadow in Pluto. I think I want to do a little bit of this before I go into hack. Because I feel like that's a little bit darker than what I was wanting so I'm gonna go right here in the center oh I could have done a pretty halo eye mm. 
So many decisions. Um, so I've been watching Annette's Makeup Corner. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, her name's Annette. If you search Annette, I'm sure she'll come up. Um, and she does a makeup diaries and like I don't go out and about or like travel like she was. So it's not really... You guys see that? I'm actually using a big mirror and look, I'm like a ding dong and covering you up. Sorry. Um, she does like this makeup diary series and I was like that seems like so much fun. So you know a lot of my videos are you know dedicated to palettes it's like palette reviews but I'm like gosh I would love to just sit down and be like hey here's a little inspiration like this is the look I did these are you know the palettes the colors you know just actually doing makeup looks and showing you guys I'm like that seems like so much fun I love watching it All right, now I'm gonna go I'm gonna clean that brush off and I'm gonna hop into that color hack These colors are so nice. I have not wet any of them. I have not. I'm going to go in here and just look how nice they apply. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to blend over top of that middle one. I'm going to go back into that middle shade, that Pluto shade from Moira. And I think I am going to get this wet and not for any other reason than to just wet around the whole area and kind of, um, one, to get a better blend, but two, there's going to be a little bit of wetness to hold it to the eye for no transfer. going to kind of go back down the line pick up a little bit of that distortion nice gradients effect oh I don't know why I feel like I'm so far over and then what I'm going to do I'm going to pick pick up you know what hold on hold that thought I think I'm gonna go in with this color here called reality and I'm gonna pick that up on this morphe brush it's really small slightly dense and I'm just gonna go along the lower lash line It's similar to that um, that gamer color, but this is right in front of me. The Beauty Bay palette, and it was open, so I was like, ah, why not? Bring it out like that. Clean that bit off, and I think I just want to take a fluffy brush. and soften that like that and then I'm going to take this waterline liner e17 brush and I'm gonna go into this Moira shadow and this is starlight I really like this one just a clear or clear it's like a white shimmer Clear. This one I am going to get wet because I'm going in the middle or the end. Goodness. I'm going in the inner corner. 
and then I'm going to bring it in. Like that. Oh, that's so pretty. So I was up last night making, um, Jordan has, my oldest, has had, geez, I don't know. I can't even tell you how many years, like, she requests pumpkin cheesecake. So I usually make, like, a regular cheesecake. And then, ah! That got out of hand. Hold on. Oh! I have way too much on there. Hold on a second. Not me being old ham hands. Oh, geez. So let me blend this out. blend this in um anyway so she has requested a pumpkin cheesecake for her birthday cake for golly i don't even know how many years now so i was up making that last night and i was letting oliver help me because he likes to bake with me so you know he's like crushing up the graham crackers you know i make everything from scratch well not the graham crackers but <laughs> Um, he's like crushing them up for me and whatever and like I not everybody in the house likes um, the pumpkin so you know so everybody can enjoy I make little mini like regular cheesecakes and my dude was like I want one and I was like you can't have one yet I was like they're hot I was like you need to let them I'm just tapping over this to blend it a little bit better right here where I went in old ham Put my old ham hands just to press it down so I don't make a mess. I'll leave it like that. Um, so anyway, so my dude was like, I want one. I was like, you can't. It's hot. You need to let him cool down. Blah, 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 blah. First thing this morning, he apparently went in the refrigerator. Like I was in the kitchen or in the bathroom getting ready. And he's out in the kitchen. Goes in the refrigerator. And then I hear mom. And I hear my husband laughing. And I'm like, what? And I come around the corner. He was like, I got one. He's like, he's like. I give you 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, I'm glad you approve of the little mini cheesecakes, my dude. So hopefully his Jordan will approve of her pumpkin cheesecake. So anyway, I do regular cheesecake and then I'll swirl like pumpkin cheesecake throughout it. Sometimes I layer it. I just always do something a little different. Um, I'm going to hop off. I'm going to go ahead and put on liner and lashes. And I think I'm going to use these doll look lashes because I really like them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. I just went ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and aligned with my, oh boy, uh, my Kat Von D. This is the actual Kat Von D tattoo liner, Mad Max Brown. Now it's KVD. I haven't purchased the new KVD. I heard it's different. So I just did a wing liner with that. And then I went in with this ColourPop. I don't even know what this says. It's rubbing off stomper i don't know i just went in with this color pop liner and a dark brown and tight lined and lined down here and then i went in with this mascara the scandal eyes volume flash mascara from rimmel it's way too big for underneath so i went in with my roller lash i need to get a waterproof um mascara for down below but i like the wand with the roller lash like the plasticky one because i feel like it gets into my little tiny tiny lashes down bottom and then I went ahead and lined my lips with my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat liner and then used oh uh, this Tarte lipstick in Culotta just a nice neutral lip since I did such a dark eye so that is it um i appreciate you guys hanging out with me while i do this impromptu get ready with me but i've really got to hurry up because i gotta get this dog to the vet so thank you guys for watching thank you for all the new subscribers thank you for talking to me thank you thank you to all of you for everything that's it so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this i'll see you next time next time <laughs>